So coming back in just a little bit early to catch you guys up on what has been happening. We still have uh, two more matches to play before the final two of the season, uh, but we have qualified for Champions League. So let me kind of show you what's happened so you are aware. Let's roll the intro and uh, then we'll come right back with that. Hey guys, RC here back with episode 10 of our journeyman save. We are with Club 5 in Grenoble and uh, France's Ligue 1. So since uh, last episode with the loss, uh, we beat Strasbourg 2-1. Uh, Martinez scored a brace and his uh, all three of the guys that we extended uh, the loan offers to last episode uh, were accepted by their respective clubs. So all three... Uh, Martinez up top, Fran at left back, and is it not Nimic? Pollock. Pollock, the uh, center back. Uh, he, they will all be back next season on loan. Uh, with that win over Strasbourg, we, qualif we guaranteed qu qualification for the full Euro Cup. Uh, we had qualified for the, you know, the intro, the, you know, the whatever they call it, the, the Euro 2. Yeah, that one. And uh, then we just drew with Bordeaux. Uh, we picked up a point there, Gabriel Garcia with the goal, and that qualified us for Champions League. There's the qualification that we'll, we will be back in the Champions League next year. And I had kind of hit that, I'd gone to the inbox and, and hit that, but I, I bounced out real quick. So I haven't really seen it. I glanced at it, but I don't remember it. So uh, 7.46 million on payroll and a transfer budget of 15 million. Not Premier League money. If we take a look at finances, problem is that's not an increase on our current payroll budget. So they're not giving us anything else to work with uh, to be able to sign anybody. I mean, yes, I could adjust transfer budget and then pay more wages, but you know, we're going to end up having to sell people to, you know, to buy new people. So, you know, and we do need to get that down. Uh, the good thing is we were at, uh, we were over the payroll budget, so at least they've raised it to what we're at currently. So they've raised it about $600,000. So that's good for us. All right. Well, I still have two more matches to play, uh, Olympic Leon and Nantes. Uh, we are in third position, two points behind Lil, mainly thanks to that draw. They got the win because if we look at... The stages here. Uh, when we lost that match, they also lost the next day, uh, but they've now won two in a row, and we have now had that draw to fall behind them. But we are 13 points ahead of Olympic Marseille in fourth position, so we will be back in Europe next year. All right, there we are. Eighth last year. We just missed by one point, wasn't it? Yes, by one point. Uh, we missed Euro uh, Euro two, uh, so from just missing Euro two all the way to Champions League in one season, I think we've done a good job. Let me get these matches played. We'll be back with the highlights in just a second. All right, this is the last video for this season, and this is the highlights we get on the board in the 14th minute, and it's Martinez with the header inside the box. A penalty, he beats the keeper to the keeper's left, making it 2-0 in the 19th minute. And just a couple of minutes later, a nice through ball to Mulling. He squares it across to Ibarra at the back post, giving us a 3-0 advantage. Grenoble 3, Nimes 0. Pekaranen with the cross in, and it's a header in for Nimic, making it a four-goal advantage. Back post goal there off the set piece, and it was Dopper, the other center back. It's 5-0 in the first half. Mulling into the box, beats his man, crossed into Nagano. The midfielder makes a run in, and that was our sixth goal of the match. Martinez beats the keeper to the left again, making it a 7-0 advantage. 80th minute, Mulling into Quinonez. 
laid back to Garcia, and he drills that one in. And that would be the final at Grenoble 8, Nimes nil. They did have a player sent off in the 78th minute. That really did not affect the game at all. And that was just boom out of nowhere. Uh, we haven't had scores like that uh, in, when's the last time we even came close to that? We had a couple of four goal matches, a five, a couple of fives earlier in the season. We had a 13-0 friendly. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a lopsided game. Hat trick to Martinez and then a bunch of other people on the score sheet. Uh, of course, we've already qualified for Champions League in third position. We're on 80 points. Still 26 points behind PSG. Uh, and now they've had a draw, and that was against Nantes, who are down in 13th position. That's insane. Uh, so let's get to the final match, guys. We'll be right back for that. All right, coming into the last game of the season, we are still third, two points behind Lille. Uh, Lil will be playing Olympic Lyon, who are 14th in the table. They'll be playing away, and we're playing away against Havre, who are 10th in the table. So no worse than third. Champions League's already qualified for. But if we can get a win and they draw, then we would finish even footing, and we should win at that point on goal differential. If we win and they lose, then we would actually beat them by a point. So there's still a chance to qualify to finish second in the league. But again, everybody's being outclassed by PSG here. All right, we're going to go with uh, Yuxel. I mean, this is all familiar. Yuxel, Fran, Pollock, Nimic, Quinones, Pekaran, and Garcia. Mulling, Ibarra, Arudia, and Martinez. You guys are very used to that set up by this point. At least I hope you are. If you've been paying attention, hey, it looks like our crowds. <laughs> so they need to move everybody down to the first tier, just tear down the second level because it's unneeded, right? <laughs> Completely unneeded. I am recording this, you know, I, I do record in bulk, you guys know that, but I am looking forward to reading your comments last episode uh, regarding fans and attendance and, and real life against football manager, all that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and work the ball into the box. If he wants to do that in the last match here, we'll do it. Lil's taking a 1-0 advantage. Let's encourage him again. They're playing a flat back four. Nothing too bad. We're getting shots, just not, not doing anything with it. And of course, the very first highlight comes in the 43rd minute, and it's to La Havre. And that one goes up into the stands for a souvenir. If you're not aware, in, uh, in a lot of American sports, if the ball goes up in the stands, you can keep it as a souvenir. Baseball, particularly. Um, most of the rest come either have some kind of protection to keep the ball coming back into the field of play, like uh, American football or uh, basketball, you have to throw it back on the court, much like in uh, European football. All right. Um, I don't want to do that. Let's point the finger. Let's do that. Let's demand more from the get-go. Rudy is not playing great. All right, Yuxel. We did have to pay out a, a couple of bonuses. Yuxel got a bonus uh, for qualifying for Champions League. Uh, I don't recall seeing the red kits this year. Am I just forgetting that? Could be. Oh, uh, there's a through ball a little too far. You know what? I'm going to turn that back off. It was not well played to Ibarra making the run. All right. Becca Rannon. Garcia. There's Martinez. So it's been a good season for us, right? I mean, there's no denying that, you know, finishing second or third in the league. And there's the deflection, and Martinez gets number 29. And uh, I tell you what, both of our saves, we have seen uh, some high-scoring seasons 
from our strike force. That's why I'm really loath to go away from this 424. I might consider looking at a 4231 next year as a secondary tactic. It's I really need to kind of evaluate at the end of the season what we've got left. Because I know Aziz Marty is leaving, right? The header goes wide. And we have an injury to mulling, and it is a foot injury. That's less than ideal. Let's put Nagano on out there. We'll confirm that. You know what? We ought to bring on uh, anybody else ready to come off. Anybody not? You know what? It's our final match. Let's, let's go ahead and bring Aziz Marty on for Martinez. We'll let him play. You know, we'll let him get some game time. Thank you. Can you bring it to mommy? Bring it to mommy. Thank you. <laughs> Back post. Oh, and it goes through the box. Lumped up into the stands. Let's encourage him here. All right. Marty's in the game. We have a Aziz Marty signing. And he did pretty good for his last season down the stretch, right? Just, you know, he just wasn't going to keep us where we needed to go. And I think he only had one appearance, if I'm not mistaken, this year. That's what, that's what my brain is telling me. All right, there's a nice through ball, and Marty, oh, Marty could have scored. It's knocked away for a corner. That would have been a great end to his time at the club. We'd like to see him get one. And I think Ibarra knocked that one out. That'll be a throw into La Havre. Nothing going on. Anybody else I want? Frank Gomez, Leclerc. You know, Jimenez, ha Jimenez hasn't played a lot, but I want to give, let's give Leclerc some game time. Rudy is not playing well. Now, we are bringing back Martinez, so I need to decide if Leclerc's going to be a long-term piece, if Rudy is going to be a long-term piece, and, you know, or if I need to move one or both of those guys and try to upgrade. Now the clerk, he, you know, you remember when we when we first signed him, he's he's only like three star potential, but he looks so good rating wise. Oh, and Ibanez gets his twentieth of the season. Uh, we're gonna come back and demand more because I'd like to get the three points and at least put pressure on Lil, right? Because uh, it looks like they're losing. Are they losing? Where's my scores? You remember it did this a couple of seasons ago? We noticed it. The club that we're like in contention with, it disappears. Lil is not in there. So I have no idea what they're doing. I think that's ridiculous. Is that... The only thing I can think is football manager SI coded that into the game. And that's the reason all the teams play at the same time so you can't rest players or you know but that's weird isn't it that is so weird uh all right what are we doing let's play there we are aziz marty a six six we are going to walk off with a draw so no chance for second position uh i'm going to hands together not good enough you know, we finished third. Good season. But you still have to be honest with them in the moment. And if we would have won, we would have finished second. Because, look, there's Lil now. And they lost 3-1. to one. And I feel last year we lost by one point for qualifying for the Euros. And this year we just missed second position by a point. We had goal differential both years. I'm just that much short. That's that's disappointing. Nimic plays his final match for us. 
four weeks out from mulling, so thankfully it's the end of the season and we can get him recovered during the break. Uh, let's finish out the day. We'll jump in and take a quick look at the club, see who's going to be leaving us. All right, we get $23 million for our finish. Uh, we were also one year ahead in our club vision, uh, one year ahead of time. Uh, the Euro Cup, we passed that a, a one year ahead of time. And so we passed everything else this year. Uh, they're satisfied with our youth system. Of course, I tend not to sign older players, so that shouldn't have been an issue for me to begin with. I believe I'm on my, I'm at the end of my contract. No, I, they, I've got one year left. I've got one year left. Um, did I ask him for a new contract? I don't know. Oh, well. All right, so that gives us, we're up to $18 million now because we, we had gone into the hole just a little bit. All right, so we are back in the positive with the $18 million. Uh, luckily, we'll get some, uh, hopefully we'll get some Champions League money, but we'll have to sell some players because we're nowhere near the 87 we had last year to offset all of the losses that we had. So uh, let's look at the squad real quick. Look at expiring contracts. So Williams is retiring. Marty is out of contract. So he was a longtime uh, talisman for the club. 177 career goals. We, we got him to 20 goals at the end of last season uh, after we took over. But uh, only 22 appearances, 16 of them off the bench, uh, and only two goals in his final season for us. It was the only season he was below a 7 rating. And, you know, that, that's to be expected when you're coming off the bench all the time. So I still think he could do a job. He's got great ratings, but at 33, we're, we're going to let him move on. I might be crazy doing that uh, because you look at those ratings and you go, damn. But, uh, you know, uh, I think it's just time to cut him loose at 33 years of age, get us a younger striker in. Uh, who else is leaving? Rafa Gomez is going to be leaving. Uh, I just don't think he's quite good enough. 654 rating, I think, bears that out. Uh, Bella Powell is 34. We're going to let him go. And Nimic and Gomez are joining new teams and they're loanees, so they're going to be gone. Nagano signed for one more year, but he's 30. So he's right at that point while he's still a good player and he starts. I'm on the verge. If somebody offered him this year, I would probably take it. But if we take a look at all the guys that we are le losing this year, uh, so one, three, we're losing about, we're dropping about 1.2 million in payroll. Big chunk of that is Aziz Marty on 644000 So $1.2 off of our wage bill. Now, see, it says we're committed spending is 6 but we're going up to 7.6. We must have, oh, yeah, we have a new guy coming in. Forgot about him. Where does he play? Midfield. He's also a number 10. This gives some thought to maybe going to a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-1. 212. We've got that tactic in our locker. I don't know. You know, we'll just we'll see. Uh I've given some thought to going to a flat four midfield and bringing back like a volante or you know, holding midfielder type midfield position to be a little more defensive. But I really like the two strikers, and I think that's the way to go in FM21. But uh anyway, we're gonna end the episode here. A great season for us. That's not a bad run in, you know, two losses since the beginning of February. Uh, not bad at all, but just not, not even in the same league as PSG right now. We finish 28 points off. They lost one and drew one. So we're going to need to see them come down as well as us going up. But right now, it looks like our big competitor is Lil. And, of course, that's assuming we're back next year. You know, this is a journeyman. If I see something that gets my attention, you know, we might bounce. You know, we've done a job getting them promoted, but I'd like to come back and do Champions League with them and try to, you know, 
another yeah, at least a couple more years with them. We'll see. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe for daily football manager content, and we will see you next episode or ne for next season. We'll have the season review and uh, transfers. Take care. Bye.